Hi everybody. Um, today I try to show you uh, how you can um, how you can separate traffic and packets uh, which have obvious the same IP precedence value. So the lab setup is as follows. We have a router R1 and this router sets a DCP value according to the destination IP address. So uh, for 11 it is using RF31, for 13 RF33, for 15 DCP EF and for 16 it uses IP presents 6 for example. On R2 we have an incoming policy map um, on this LAN phase and this is this uh, classify traffic in different ways so we have a voice class 1 class 2 and default voice is set with 5 class 1 is set with 4 class 2 is set with 2 and default is set to 0 so EF will be overwritten with 5 RF31 will be overwritten with 4 and put to class 1 RF33 will be overwritten also by 4 and is also put to class 1. So these two traffics or these two kind of traffics are put in the same class and have obviously the same IP precedence value of 4. So how can you reach it that uh, this traffic can be separated uh, further on again? Okay, then uh, packets with IP precedence set uh, to 6 from LAN oh. six. from LAN will be remarked to IP 0 and packets from router itself will be remarked with IP 6 ok on the WAN side we have a policy just matching and on R3 there is a matching policy and set traffic which is marked to oops, to 41 again back to 31 and traffic marked as R43 back to RF33 and here is just read again um, no this is just this is wrong it's just a match policy okay um, and we can save it of course So what is <laughs> what will we see here now? Uh, I uh, cleared the counter. We have access list, depend and um, this access list is with different uh, destination IP addresses or matches to different destination IP addresses. These access lists are used in this class map to put uh, it to the output queue. So, traffic for 15, for example, matches here with the EF and then set to the DCP EF. Okay. On R2, We have the incoming list and this is setting traffic to this um, to these values five four two zero. So it sets traffic to five, traffic to two, four and zero. And on the outgoing we have just a match class. Uh, and you can see uh, for example for voice it is just with voice 5 set vi so as matches for 5 and for business is matches for 3 and 4 and so on okay on R3 there's just a match uh, for all classes first EF 5 31 33 30 uh, on 3 so that you can see if traffic is coming with uh, with uh, values. So obvious, these are for IP presence the same. The first three bits are um, zero one one, and but the last three or the the middle three 
uh, bits um, has different could have different values so you can figure out if it has a one or a three or whatever so to see if it is if it's the three bits from the DCP are overwritten or not if you set a IP president value so again you have a packet marked with DSCP, you overwrite it with IP presidents, and now is the goal to figure out if if you set IP president value, if this only changes the first three bits or also the last five bits or the uh, three DCP and the, the um, or all eight DOS bits. Okay. For this, um, as we can see, these two values, RF31 and vol out all put overwritten with 4. So, you will have hopefully some packets with 41 and 43. And if it is 41, it will be remarked with 31. And if it is marked with 43 it will be marked with 33 and if overwriting the toss field with IP president and it would would change all bits then this packets would be matched by this class or by this class yes okay and the last router then is only again a matching okay Um so let's do the test. I make a ping to ten dot done dot uh zero dot zero dot eleven. This is thirty one. Repeat it for example for twenty no uh, let's say eleven times. Okay. For thirteen we make 22 and for 15 we use uh, 55 and for the 16 let's say uh, uh, well, this could be 33, 77, well, 88 could be a problem. Uh, let's use a uh, higher value, for example, 150. Okay, should be ready soon. show policy map interface output and we can see 55 for EF 22 for 33 and 11 for 31 and 150 in this 6 map here ok and some traffic in class default ok and the second router is now the interesting part show policy map interface input first so we have traffic coming with uh, it's only matching here voice okay uh, maybe we take a look on the right configuration first so EF is will be voice I have 31 and 33 will be business in this case yeah, and uh, traffic which is coming and going from the router directly uh, will get the 6. Okay, again. We have 55 for EF and it's overwritten with 5. We have uh, uh, 33 packets in this class and we marked with <coughs> 4. So this 33 is of course 22 and 11 okay 
and all other are as default. So package which are marked obvious as routing information from the LAN is put into the default class here. Policy map interface out. Okay, you can see 55, 33, and in the default um, traffic, f f which is coming from LAN, and we marked to zero. Uh, okay, uh, we can do here a ping also to 10.0016. Uh, well, we have to make an extended ping. Uh, we say here like 333 and we need an extended command and we need another type of service here so this is the toss byte uh, so 1 1 is up within 6 with the first 6 bits it would be DSCP value 48 and all together are TOS 192. So, okay, we'd say 192. Make the ping here. Uh, this will take a little bit, but, yes, but not too long, so we can wait. Okay, repeat this output, still 55, still 33, uh, these are from the, well, 10 more byte pings, but here are the, this amount is raising up, so this is OSPF running, and again, the pings uh, which we initiate from R2 to R4, set with a toss value, okay. For R3, um, show policy map interface input. Now we can see we have, oh, this is a long list, 55 for EF, match for EF. Yeah. So then there's no with 5, so the, uh, the last bit were not overwritten, or the middle, b the middle bits were not overwritten. The same here. Okay, for RF31 and 33, there's no packets, of course. They are marked with 4 and, and also no with 3. So we have here 11 with 41 and 22 with 43 and no with 4. So packets, the 31 and 33 packets, which are remarked with presidents or the DC packets, which are marked with DSCP. RF31 and RF33 are overwritten with IP presence 4. So only the first three bit changed. So now they are 41 and 43. Okay? And these are set with the exist or with the original values back again. 31, 33. Okay, and on R4, <coughs> sorry. Eh, input of course. Okay, we have now 55 EF, 11, 31, 22, 33, no with 3, no with 41, no with 43, and no with 4. So, this proves if you have DSCP mark packet and you override it with IP presidents. Only the first three bit change. The other bit keep remaining to the original value. So you can figure out different packets or different classes or different marked traffic even if they have obviously the same IP presidents value. Okay. Thanks, Falk, and we hear, we hear us the next time again. Bye.